Well, guys, the rest of the show would feature Rob Van Dam and Rey Mysterio retaining the tag team titles over Rene Dupree and Kenzo Suzuki. Do you have any memories of Kenzo Suzuki? Any stories for of him? <laughs> no, no, I don't, man. But okay. what a good kid, man. He, um, yeah. I, I, this is what I was told. They understand English, but sometimes they pretend not to. Yeah, so that that's smart. If, if the, there's a spot in the match they don't want to do, then they won't, well, you know, understand. <laughs> so, right. But but I heard him and Funaki were a little, little guilty of that. But I sure. love both of them. They were great kids. Yeah. Well, the Bashams defeated Bob Holly and Charlie Haas. The Bashams, listen, they were really well regarded in Jim Cornette's o OVW. How, how do they not succeed better? I don't know. I don't know. They had a great look. Um, you know, they, they both looked like each other and, you know, they looked like twins and they were yeah. both incredible workers. I, I really thought if they had a manager, those guys would have been like five, 10 time world champions. They, they were that good. Wow. John Cena retains the U.S. title in a street fight over Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> I know. I'm just, I'm just, uh, I, yeah, I know it's Jesus. I'm having fun. But I the whole John, know. the whole John Cena getting stabbed angle. Talk about that. <laughs> that was quite a story. <laughs> you talk about typecasting. Oh, my. You got goodness. a rapper and you got a Chicano and there's a knife involved. <laughs> <laughs> good old early wwe stuff what man. the hell is going on here <laughs> it's just it's 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 stereotype storyline and the show featured funaki defeating spike dudley are you guys listening to this card this <laughs> this card is armageddon in a little under 10 minutes to win the cruiserweight title anything on funaki or spike uh, uh you know what i love spike uh he was fearless. he took a beating that guy he, he always took a beating you know what he he never complained about it he would always come back for more. I mean, th that kid was uh, a sucker for abuse. He really was. Yeah, no, nah, he was, uh, man, I, I enjoyed watching him in, in ECW before he would end up in the crowd just being tossed around like a rag doll. Oh, my God, but I know. A guy that could take a beating, and it would be Bam Bam Bigelow just throwing him into the fourth row. <laughs> so uh, so there you go. 